Hallelujah, anyhow. Never let your problems get you down. When your problems come your way, hold your head up high and say, Hallelujah, anyhow. Hallelujah, anyhow. Never let your problems get you down. When your problem comes your way, hold your head up high and say, Hallelujah, anyhow. Hallelujah, anyhow. Never let your problems get you down. When your problem comes your way, hold your head up high and say, Hallelujah, anyhow. Father, we say hallelujah, anyhow, Lord. We bless you. We glorify you, Lord. We look to you, O oh God. You're the King of kings. You're the Lord of lords. Besides you, there's no other God. So we bless you, God. We glorify you, Lord. We thank you for the good things and we thank you for the bad things. Lord, you have your way with us. We must decrease as you increase. Let the words of our mouth and the meditation of our heart, let it be acceptable, Father, in your sight. Oh, Lord, our rock, our strength and our redeemer, have your way with us now that you get the glory, you get the honor, you get all the praise in Jesus name. We pray. Amen. 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 And amen. My name is Frank Bodie. Welcome to our show. Do you want to be made well? And we pray again that you certainly want to get better and better and better and better, better and better and better and better, better than Bob surplus. You know, the, the commercial with Bob surplus, it says they get better and better every time. But you know what? Being the man and woman, of God that you are, you want to get better and better. And we're only able to get better and better. It's through Christ. It's everything that we do is through Christ. Getting better is through Christ. Getting stronger is through Christ. Getting wiser is through Christ. It's all through getting Christ that we owe the glory. We give, we owe honor. We owe the praise to because God, he's the one that did it and he's doing it right now in our life. So we thank Thank the Lord. We thank the Lord for the spirit of God in our lives right now, how he's doing things that we are all, aren't all fully aware of. Did you know that, that God is doing things in your life right now that you're not even fully aware that he's working things out? You know, the Bible says that all things work together for all things work together for the good of those who love the Lord and is called according to his purpose. So all things mean even things things that you're not even aware of, things that are subtle, things that aren't nudging you on the shoulder and letting you know that it's working. God's he's making things work out in your life when you're sleeping in the bed, when you're driving, when you're doing other things. God is working on your behalf. So that means that you don't have to be doing everything. You don't have to be doing everything from A to Z, but you what God does want you to do, he wants you to have have faith in him, to believe in him, belief that he is who he said he is and that God can do what he said he can do. Do you believe it right now? If you believe it, bless the Lord with a hand clap because God is able to do more abundantly above all that you can ever ask or that you can ever think of because God, he is God all by Himself. And so, Lord, we thank you, Father. We bless you, Lord. God. Bless each and every individual that, Father, that hear what we're sharing with on this day. Bless them, Lord God. Bless them in their heart. Bless them in their, their finances. Bless them, Lord God, within their family, Lord God. Bless them on their job. Bless those that are trying to get a job. Bless those, Father God, that's trying to, Lord, do, that's trying to hear from you, Lord God, that want to live for you, Lord God. Bless those in the name of Jesus. Father, that want to give you all the glory, all the honor, and all the praise. Bless those, Father, that want to live for you, that want to live right, that want to do right, that want to act right, that want to smile right, that want to look right and hear right and do all those things that are right according to your divine nature.
here. Have your way with them right now, God. Know the people, Lord God. Continue to know your people and grow your people. Grow them, Father, like they've never been grown before. That folk, when they see them, when they look at them, they will say, who in the world is this? They have been transformed. Transformation have been taking place. So, Father, we bless you and we glorify you, Lord. Praise your name, O oh God. We praise your name, O oh God. Praise your name, O oh God. Hallelujah, Lord God. We pray right now for, for deliverance, Lord God. We pray for healing, Lord God. We pray for deliverance, Lord God. Somebody needs deliverance right now, Lord God. Somebody needs healing, Lord God, right now in the name of Jesus. Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray for that individual right now that's going through in their mind. Mind, Lord God, be with them right now, Lord God. Oh God, in Jesus' name, have your way. We, we pray for deliverance in their mind, in Jesus' name. I pray for healing in your mind right now, healing in your mind right now. No more being disturbed in your mind. No more being disturbed. I pray for the word of God to go straight through into to your mind and I pray right now as God's word is moving mightily into your mindset that everything else that is not of God is being eradicated everything else that is not of God God is setting you free God God is giving you peace of mind guaranteed and that his peace he says peace that I leave with you and peace I give you in the name of Jesus I pray for healing right now I pray Pray in the name of Jesus. You will no longer be terrorized from the devil. You will no longer be terrorized from Lucifer. I bind you, Satan, in the name of Jesus. Lord, I pray for healing. I pray for healing right now. No longer will you be terrorized by the adversary in the name of Jesus. I speak the name of Jesus to you. I speak the name of Jesus and tell Satan to loose you right Right now, in the name of Jesus, in the mighty name of Jesus, that you are healed right now, healed right this instant, right this moment in the name of Jesus. The Bible says as the woman that had an issue of blood for 13 long years and she went to Jesus and the Bible says there were so many people around Jesus, the multitude. And as the woman touched Jesus touched the hem of his garment. Jesus says that somebody touched me. And when the uh, multi, when the, uh, the disciples said to Jesus, how, what do you mean? There's so many people here. How can you say somebody touched me? And Jesus says, not that kind of touch. It's a touch that, it was a touch that somebody was reaching out to pull from me. I felt, Jesus says, the virtue, I felt the, I felt the, felt the virtue of uh, that's inside of me, the power leaving my body, going in, bringing healing in the name of Jesus to this woman, Jesus says. So right now, in the name of Jesus, re Jesus says, touch the hem of his garment right now. You reach out right now. He says, touch me, touch my garment, touch my garment, and you will be healed. No longer will you have to go to the doctors. No longer will you have to take the medication. No longer will you you have you be disturbed be set free right now in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus no longer will you be staying up all night all night just going through in your head going through with with just being terrorized in your mind Satan I command you in the name of Jesus to loose that man to loose that man right now in the name of Jesus no longer will you be drinking alcohol you don't need alcohol any longer that you're set free Jesus is your alcohol Jesus is your battle axe Jesus is your comforter Jesus is your will in 
the middle of a will. Jesus is your deliverer. Jesus is your healing. And most of all, Jesus is your power in the name of Jesus. I get, I pronounce you healed by the blood of the lamb and the word of my testimony. You're healed right now in the name of Jesus. I pray for deliverance right now, Lord. I pray for healing right now, God. You get the glory, Lord. You get the honor. Get the praise right now in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I see somebody right now going through some swelling in their legs, swelling in your thighs, swelling in your ankles, swelling in your feet. You're dealing with a lot of swelling all over your body. You don't know where it's coming from. You don't know what's happening. You don't know what in the world's going on. You just feel like, wow, why, why is my body just blowing up the way it is? And right now I call, I, I call on the name of Jesus to begin to begin to come forth to relieve all the pressures of air, pressures of, 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 of fluids that's going all through your body in the name of Jesus. Father, I pray for healing right now. Healing right now on that man of God. Healing right now that Lord, that he will not have to go through body swellings of, of liquids inside of his body. No longer will he have to take the pills that he's been given from the doctor. That Lord, that he's healed through the blood of the lamb and the word of his testimony. Lord, bring forth healing right now in the name of Jesus. Healing right now. Lift your hands up before the Lord. Lift your hands up before God. I pray for healing right now. Healing from the body fluids in your body. Healing right now that you'll live a normal life. You don't even want to go outside because when you would go outside, things would just be so much, just things would hurt your body. Walking would even hurt your body. You would just take three or four or five steps and it seems just like just those four or five steps would just make you want to turn back around and go back in the house. So you just say, what's the bother? I'm just going to stay in the house. But the Lord says, that is not what I placed you to do, is to be in the house, to be a hermit. You are to come out of the house. And as you come out of the house, you will proclaim the glory of the Lord. You will lift up your hands, lift up your hands right now. Lord, in Jesus' name, I pray for the power of your power, the power that raised Jesus from the dead, that that same power raised bring forth healing right now on her body, on his body right now in the name of Jesus. All those that are going through right now migraine headaches, I pray in the name of Jesus. Lift your hands before God. Lift your hands before God for the healing power of God. Yes, 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 yes. I pray for migraine headaches, super migraine headaches that you've been going through, headaches, going through the doctors, going through this person, going through that person. You even, you even in fact thought that you were crazy. You didn't know really what, what was going on. Thought that life was just about ready to come to an end. In fact, life now is just beginning to start for you. Lift your hands before God. Lift your hands up. Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray for healing right Right now, I pray for healing my right now to for this young person right now, this young individual right now, that, that you would bring forth healing and from migraine headaches, migraine headaches right now, you loose right now, you be loosed in her, you be loosed in that individual in the name of Jesus. Reach your hands to point your hands toward me as I am pointing. Uh, my hands towards you as a sign of deliverance, as a sign of your faith, as a sign of healing from the Lord God Almighty. In the name of Jesus, I pray for power. I pray for the power of God to touch you right now for healing and deliverance in this place, in the place where you are right now, in the name of Jesus. Your faith is making you whole. Your faith 
is making you pure. Your faith is making you continuously come toward the Lord. Father, we thank you. We adore you. We bless you, Lord God. And we, Lord, we're going to give you a hand clap because you're worthy to be praised. What a great deliverer you are, oh God. Lord, you are the doctor. You're the doctor, Lord God, in the hospital. In the, you're a lawyer in the, in the um, courtroom, Lord God. You are God all by yourself. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. I pray for those that are going through addiction right now. Those that are going through addictions right now in the name of Jesus. Put your hands up before God. I pray for deliverance. I pray for healing right now in the name of Jesus. No longer will you need to go to a program. You don't need to go to a drug program. Your program is right here and right now in the name of Jesus. If you want God to touch you, just lift your hands, lift your hands, lift your hands, lift your hands. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Lift your hands, lift your hands, lift your hands. Lift your hands to God. Lift your hands. I come against the spirit of Suboxone. I come against the spirit of alcohol. I break in the name of Jesus, heroin, crack cocaine, marijuana. I come against barbiturates pills in the name of Jesus. I break it in the name of Jesus that you get healed right now in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Be healed right now. Be delivered right now. Be set free right now in the name of Jesus. The name that is above every name. The name that has all power that has been placed in his hand that you now are set free. Be set free right now. Be delivered right now in the name of Jesus. Bless the Lord. Bless the Lord. Oh, just put your hands up and give God the glory. Give God the glory. Just give him the glory. Give him the glory. Give him the glory. Yes, I see those right now. I see you right now. Your hands up. Your hands is up before God and you're giving him the praise. You're giving him the props. You're giving him the glory because you know it's God and the power of God will not fail you. The power of God will not let you down. So, Father, you continue to get the glory. You continue to get the honor. You continue to get the praise. And I see somebody else right now. You're dealing with your heart. You've been dealing with heart problems. You've been having heart problems. Your, your heart haven't been beating properly. And you, you don't know what's happening. Your fingers and tips are numb and your legs are numb. And it just seems like you don't even know what in the world is going on. So right now, in the name of Jesus, I pray right now, just hold your hands up. Hold your hands up before God. If you don't want to stand up, just sit in your chair. Sit in the chair and just put your hands up before God. I pray right now for healing. I pray for healing in the name of Jesus. Heal my brother. Heal my sister right now. Heal him right now that's going through problems, heart problems in the name of Jesus. It seemed like the heart problems has been in your family for a long time, but I break it right now. I break generational curses off your life. I break the problems, heart problems, heart attacks. I break, I break it in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus Christ. Be set free right now. Be healed right now in the name of Jesus. Be set free right now. Be delivered right now. Be delivered right now in the name of Jesus. Yeah. We thank you, Lord. We thank you, Lord, that your people don't got to jump through no loops, don't have to do 50 push-ups, don't, Lord, got to have to go up, go up, crawl up a mountain, jump up on a mountain, or do all these crazy or sporadic things, Lord. But all they got to do is by faith, have faith in you to be delivered and to be set free. You, Father God, you're a great deliverer. You're the great deliverer I am and we thank you father so we bless you we glorify
glorify your name. We bring forth healing and deliverance, Lord God. And I pray, Lord God, for those that are demonically possessed, Lord God. I pray for deliverance. I pray for deliverance. Those that are demonically possessed by demons, Lord, by masturbations, homosexuality, lesbianism. I pray for those that are being, that needs deliverance in the name of Jesus, committing adultery, fornication, deliverance right now, uh, sodomy, all those sins that is not, I come against it in the name of Jesus. Lord, I pray, set them free right now. Deliver them, Lord God. Deliver them, Lord God. Be delivered, be delivered, be delivered, be the man that God called you to be, be the woman that God called you to be, be God, be God's man, be God's woman in the name of Jesus. Be set free. Be set free right now in the name of Jesus. Be delivered. Be delivered in this place. Be delivered right now in the name of Jesus. You was having problems with your body, having problems with basically not knowing who you are, being this person one day and that person, be set free. You are who God said you are, and you are delivered right now. You are delivered right now. You are delivered right now. Be who God called you to be. Be delivered from the wayward ways of life. Be, and I pray you would get delivered, be healed, be delivered from rape at a young age. Be healed, be delivered from people. Ah, oh, Karaba Sanda, I see your uncle was touching you and putting his hands all on you, having uh, uh, basically crazy pleasures of doing stuff to you that no one else knew about but you. And I pray for healing and I pray for deliverance. You need healing right now and you need deliverance right now. Be healed be healed from the pain be healed from all the pain that you've gone through but be delivered from the spirits that have come in that have tried to, and are trying to basically take over your whole body so right now let Jesus in right now let the light of Jesus in to take over let the light of God shine inside in the darkness so that you will be found. Know the truth and the truth will make you free. Father, have your way. Have your way right now. Have your way. And I'm going to pray for all the rest of you right now that God will strengthen you. God will keep you on that right and, ster right and narrow path. God will continue to keep his arms around you that you won't be looking to the left, right, you won't be looking in back and just not going nowhere. So I pray right now, just lift your hands up before God. Father, in the name of Jesus. Father, in Jesus' name, have your way. Have your way in this place. Have your way in the lives of your people, Lord God. Lord, that each and every individual will be going in the right direction that you have proclaimed and you have called them to. They already see that going in the wrong direction is not of you right now. And Lord, in Jesus name, they will now begin to listen and to seek so that you will give them great counsel. You will give them right counsel. You will give them the direction that they're supposed to go into in the name of Jesus. Have your way right now, oh God. Have your way right now, oh God. Move mightily. Give those the direction that they need, Lord God. No longer will you be walking around in circles like walking in the wilderness for, like the Israelites did for 40 long years. You will begin to seek God. You will begin to go and listen to the voice. God wants to teach you how to listen to his voice. And as he teach you how to listen to his voice, grasp just that. Grasp the things that God revealed to you. And as you grasp those things, you will grow. And then as you grasp those things, you will grow. And as you get a little bit more of what God has given to you, feast on that and you will grow a little bit more. Father, in the name of 
Yes, I pray for healing right now. I pray for healing on your children, healing in your household. I, come, I, I pray for the joy of the Lord to be in your household right now. I speak peace in your household. I speak the love of Jesus in your household. I speak the fragrance, and, but most of all, the power of God to tell the devil to leave your house right now, to tell the devil to leave your mind right now in the name of Jesus. Loose him, Lucifer, in Jesus' name. In Jesus, in the mighty name of Jesus, the Christ, the Son of God, the one who died, but now is alive. Lift your hands before the Lord. Bless the Lord. Bless the Lord God. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for healing right now. Thank you for setting free right now. Thank you for delivering right now, Lord God. Oh, Lord, it is all through you and all through faith and belief in you. What a mighty God we serve. Is there anything too hard for God? Thank you, Lord. Nothing is too hard for you, Lord. Oh, Lord, we place Satan under our feet right now. Place him under our feet where he belongs, that you get the glory, you get the honor, you get all the praise. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah.